Hi, I'm Sushmit Vardwe from Integrated MSc Physics third year and I am going to uh, present a PPT on the topics uh, generating pseudo random numbers uh, using 8085. A pseudo random number generator refers to an algorithm uh, which that uses some mathematical formulation to generate uh, a sequence of random numbers. Random numbers are basically uh, uh, such that uh, using the current number, we can't predict what the next number will be. Uh, the reason for using pseudo random numbers rather than true random numbers in computers is because computers are very uh, deterministic systems. That is, uh, using the current state, you can easily predict uh, what is the next output. Hence, we need to use some mathematical uh, 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 formulations for generating uh, ran uh, some numbers which seem to be random but are not random in reality. Uh, a PRNG algorithm uh, starts from an uh, arbitrary starting state. So, uh, the starting state is called a seed. That is, it is some initial value which is entered into the uh, computer uh, to uh, by, by, means, by some means. For example, uh, it can be entered by using such that uh, what is the total number of seconds which has passed from some particular date. So we can use this value as a seed for the uh, pseudo random number generator. Uh, the advantage of a of pseudo random number over true random number is that uh, it is time efficient like for example if i have some code in which i have to generate thousand random numbers in, in immediately so in that case i can't use a true random number generator means uh, a true random number generator either requires a, uh, input from the user because uh, i can like enter some random numbers or it can be dependent on some uh, random uh, nature of the system such as uh, when a nuclear decay takes place or uh, when when uh, well, what is the temperature of the system or how much time has passed from some particular date all these can be used as a true random numbers but they are not time efficient another advantage of a pseudo random number generator is that it is deterministic na in nature that is if uh, by some way i know the seed of the uh, seed which I, which is used for the uh, prng then I can use uh, generate the next uh, sequence uh, without running the code, uh, and this uh, this property can be useful in some cases. Uh, there are multiple applications of random numbers in uh, in various uh, uh, numerical simulations, etc. For example, one of the major applications is Monte Carlo method. So, uh, Monte Carlo is a set of methods which is dependent on generating multiple, uh, means many random numbers and using them to solve numerical problems. For example, uh, suppose I have to find the uh, area under this line or basically the integration of some plot. So, for that what I can do is that I can, uh, from uh, this value 0 to the uh, this value. So, what I can do is generate many uh, random numbers inside this uh, whole box. And the total number of random numbers which are below this graph, uh, below this black line, uh, divided by the total number of uh, random numbers generated in this whole area can give us the a uh, overall area under this plot. So, uh, whenever the uh, plot of the function is very difficult and other uh, numerical or analytical integration methods cannot be used, uh, at that time Monte Carlo method can give us an efficient way to find the uh, integration of the function. Another uh, function of random numbers in numerical simulations is random walk problems. So, for example, I have to uh, simulate the uh, motion of a uh, particle in 2D or in 1D, for example, uh, for a case of simplicity. So, gas particle in 1D or 2D. So, what I can do is generate two random numbers in the 2D case, that is, uh, maybe the uh, distance r and also the direction in which it is traveling from the initial path and this can be used to simulate the uh, means overall brownian motion or the uh, gas diffusion uh, can be simulated using computer simulations and for that random number generation is very important There are uh, multiple methods to uh, find the uh, means to generate pseudo random numbers like some methods are like uh, linear uh, congruential generator 
so the purpose of this uh, method means the basic working of this method is to uh, take a seed which is x then uh, multiply it by some constants and add it with some constant that is ax plus b and then i can take the mod of this to the some base m and the uh, whatever the final result that that is the uh, random number so uh, uh, another method is linear feedback shift register which i have uh, this is the method which i have implemented in 8085 so the basic work, working of LFSR is to uh, generate new random numbers by using a linear boolean function. So uh, in, in, in this case, the linear boolean function which I have used uh, is uh, XOR gate. Uh, so XOR gate is a, a gate, logic gate, uh, which gives the output of, uh, zero, 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 uh, of 0 when the input is 1, 1 or 0, 0 and the uh, output of 1 whenever the input is 1, 0 or 0, 1. Uh, now I will explain the LFSR method by using some examples. So for example, uh, this is our seed 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So it is a 8 bit seed. So uh, what what is done is that we take the XOR, XOR output of the last two bits which is the least significant, least significant bit and the second least significant bit and then the output is uh, is converted into the most significant bit and the whole uh, and this data is removed and uh, this uh, this is from this to this is taken to be the uh, final seed so our final seed will be 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 1 and this will be removed so uh, this new new output can again be used as a seed um, uh, so in this, the new output is used as the seed. So the XOR of the last two bits is 0, 1. So it, the output is 1. So the final output in iteration 2 will be 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0. Now I will explain the basic algorithm which is followed. So after starting the program, initially a seed is entered by the user into the memory. So uh, the uh, XOR of the la least significant bit and the second least significant bit is taken. So suppose the output bit is 1, then the most significant bit is uh, made 1. Or uh, in the other case, when the output bit is 0, the, the most significant bit is taken to be 0 and the least significant bit is removed. This is the extensive flowchart uh, which includes all the uh, commands which I have uh, implemented in 8085. So I will explain this uh, flowchart, uh, step, flowchart step by step uh, while implement, I mean, uh, by explaining the code itself. So uh, the uh, objective of this code is to generate random 8-bit numbers. So uh, what I have done is that uh, I have implemented the code to generate single uh, random bit 8 times in, in a loop and then uh, uh, these 8 bits are stored in memory and uh, after the these 8 iterations are done then uh, these 8 bits are again uh, taken back into the register and the uh, uh, and we get these 8 bits are arranged as a whole new 8 bit random number. So uh, the I will explain the code from here. So the uh, in this code I have uh, taken the destination memory address for saving the random bits uh, as 2005H so I have stored this in DE register pair uh, then I have initialized the counter for checking if 8 random bits have been generated because we need 8 bit uh, numbers the, uh, so the initial loop is for calling the subroutine of LFSR the LFSR subroutine is for generating the 8 uh, the uh, for generating one random bit and this subroutine is uh, executed 8 times by using the uh, counter. Uh, I will now uh, explain the subroutine LFSR. Uh, so uh, LFSR uh, in this first three lines the uh, the uh, the code is initialized for executing the function LFSR. So the seed which is stored in 2000H is uh, loaded into the accumulator. The uh, Now the suppose the seed which I have taken is something like 0110 and 
one one. So this is uh, this is uh, inserted loaded into the accumulator. Now suppose I am using the executing the command RAR. So the function of RAR is to rotate the bits to the right. So this will convert into zero one one zero one zero one. And uh, this one is taken into the carry carry flag, and the initial carry flag condition is then transferred. Then suppose this is the carry flag initial condition, then it is transferred as the more significant bit. So uh, this uh, the uh, to check the least significant bit, uh, I have done executed this command. So after executing RAR, the least significant bit of this uh, number, which is zero, is uh, stored in the carry bit. Now I have checked using this JNC function. Suppose uh, uh, if the number is zero, and then I have stored this number in uh, a C register. Sorry, B register. For example, suppose the uh, means in B register. Suppose this was this bit is zero, so zero will zero H will be stored in the B register. Instead, if it was one, then zero one H would be have, would have been stored in the B register. Now this step is again same. I have again rotated the uh, uh, rotated this number. So I have rotated this. Then I will get one in the uh, carry flag. Uh, so uh, again this number one is stored in similarly in the C register pair. C register, sorry. After uh, storing this in the C register, uh, I have. Uh, I'll I have uh, also transferred this B register data into accumulator. So uh, now I have taken ZOR of these two bits. So uh, the D register pair contains the memory address of the uh, of the uh, address of memory where uh, we are going to store the random bits. So STAXD uh, stores the output of the random bit into the memory address. And then we go to the next memory address for the for uh, further instructions. And then uh, the accumulator currently contains uh, either 00 uh, as or 01H. So by uh, using the RAR function, we are take, uh, bringing either if it is 01H, carry will become 1, or if it is 00H, it will become 0. Uh, after this is stored in the carry, uh, we are then loading the accumulator with the original uh, seed and then uh, converting the most significant bit into uh, into either 1 or 0 depending on the carry. So this was basically one execution of the LFSR subroutine. So final result which we get is the shifted, uh, shifted seed and also the uh, output random number in, which is stored in our memory. This code will be executed 8 times because we need 8 random numbers for generating a, a random 8 bit number. Now uh, when this code, uh, with, when this LFSR is executed 8 times, now we have 8 bits. Uh, so after this we need to convert these 8 bits means what we basically have is in each memory address we have stored either 01H or 00H. So we need to convert this 01H or 00H uh, and concat them and convert it into a uh, into some 8-bit uh, number. So for that what I have done is initially I have initialized the uh, various registers and then I have called the decode function and this is again run 8 times because each time one bit is read from the memory and then it is joint concatted into the main number. So I will explain the decode function subroutine next. The uh, basically, so uh, in this uh, MOV B comma M uh, means uh, uh, M in our case is 2005H. So uh, 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 the bit which is stored in 2005H is transferred into B register, and then we have decreased B register by one. So uh, it uh, B register will either contain 01H or 00H. Now after decreasing by uh, 1, the result will either be, uh, means if it is 01H then we will get 0 flag activated after subtraction by 1. In this case, no, uh, 0 flag will not be activated. Uh, so uh, depending on that, uh, the bit will be 0 or 1 and then I have rotated it to the left. So suppose initial 
initially our uh, seed would be something like this uh, not seed initially the word would be something like this so suppose our uh, zero flag is uh, activated then uh, 01h is added to this uh, number so 01h would be added uh, and then it is shifted to the left and this is exe this subroutine is executed again executed 8 times so we will get a complete 8 bit number from this thank you now i will uh, show the code execution uh, line uh, means line by line or uh, in the uh, gnu simulator Uh, now uh, I will show the execution of the code in GNU simulator. So I have taken the example seed input to be 01101011 which is 107 in decimal. So it is stored in uh, 2000H. So uh, basically I have put uh, breakpoints uh, in uh, after execution of each LFSR and after execution of each decode. So at first breakpoint uh, we see that 0 is stored in the 2005H uh, memory address. Then after second execution uh, in 2006H, 1 is stored. Third execution again stores 1. Fourth execution again stores 1. Fifth exec execution also uh, generates 1. Then sixth execution generates 0. Seventh execution generates 1. And eighth execution generates 0. So uh, basically the overall number which we have got from 2005 to 2000 C is 01111010. Now we want to convert this uh, 8 bits into a 8 bit digit uh, means 8 bit random number. So for that we will go into the decode subroutine. So now uh, in each, uh, each uh, subroutine the uh, each execution of the subroutine, the number is shifted to the left and hence uh, the, this will be uh, stored as the most significant bit and 2000C will be stored as the least significant bit. So after each execution, uh, the, we, see, we can see the accumulator changing. And final, after the execution, we see that the random number which is generated is 122 or 7a. Now, uh, we can see that uh, if I execute this code again and again, we can generate multiple 8-bit random numbers. So, for the next execution, I will take 122 as the seed input. So, in the next uh, generation, we see 226 as the random number. Then we get 200. After that, 116. Then 114, 210, 220, 140 and so on. So uh, we should note that uh, after some particular point, these random numbers will start repeating. So uh, to avoid this repeating, we can uh, use multiple methods. To avoid repeating in this case, uh, means to sorry to generate random numbers in this case what we have done is uh, these are four bits six, seven and so suppose these are the eight eight bits then what we have done is we have basically zored these two bits so uh, to increase the time period of repetition of random numbers what we can do is complicate this like uh, for example instead of this what we can do is uh, we can connect these two uh, we can connect these two one minute sorry uh, we can connect these two to a or gate then we can again connect this to the uh, to another bits or gate uh, and this finally can be connected to this through a or gate again and then this can be chosen as the more significant bit. So we can increase the complexity of the uh, linear function which is used to uh, so that uh, we get more and more random numbers. Thank you.